talking to somebody and, and uh, she had all sorts of things to say, but there was very there was no evidence. And so let's get to another caller who's been patiently waiting uh, for a while. Uh, good morning, caller. What is your name and what did, where are you calling us from? Hey, this is Levi on the Polk Plantation. How are you today? Doing good. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. I agree with you. You know, the truth is the truth, uh, but it does matter uh, how people accept it, interpret it, and usually that's based on experience. Mm -hmm. and I could have missed some history, but I think it was the Church of Rome, the Church of England, the Calvinists, and possibly the Puritans, not the separatists that were involved in the African slave trade. I just got a quick question. Were you guys in the Navy? Uh, no, neither of us were in the Navy, no. no All right, because I know some of the people before you were. Yeah, you had a show on Bitcoin, I guess, a couple of weeks ago. I think it was a repeat show. It, it, yeah, it was. But we have had that guest on twice, yeah. Um, that, it was... Funny, the uh, currency had crashed right like after that. Oh my God! <laughs> Tesla had uh, pulled out, as you know. They they kind of did a promotional thing and went in trying to make it seem more stable, you know. And then when they pulled out, the currency did crash. That was right after that show. I was. It was right after ask, the show. You're right about that. <laughs> yeah, I was wanting to ask, like, if it's so detached from the dollar, why value it in the dollar? And then why would the central banks? be getting involved in the digital currency if it was like you know independent from them yeah yeah i i, I those are good questions i think we're gonna have to have uh you know our guest uh, on again to talk about that because um it, it was it is fascinating you know the volatility of that market especially when say elon musk does one tweet and it can crash bitcoin right like not crash but significantly right. devalue it right and so um yeah the guest talked about the devaluing of the dollar but when you look at the, you know when they were trying to sell it to me as kind of an anarchist uh tool to buy pedophilia and uh and dope um it was forty dollars and now whatever got to 50,000 or something like that sounds a little volatile to me. Yeah, I would agree with that. But hey, we're uh, we're not talking crypto today, though, uh, it's Levi. It's a conspiracy, the insurrectionist. But, you know, when you talk about, you know, when you talk about this, you're looking for a commission. You're looking to have a conversation. How come you do not talk about 9-11? You know, when you look at the picture of the real bin Laden, you know, next to the fake bin Laden, I think somebody can use common sense to say that we weren't told uh, the correct story. Mm -hmm. And I think that that, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm just gonna answer, you know, for you. It was was more uh, of an historically, uh, uh, you know, uh, damaging and dangerous event than the so-called insurrection thing, you know. But it got brushed off. We were all told to believe the official account. Just look the other way. And life goes on. Meanwhile, you know, the implementation of mass surveillance and all these things get put into place. That's why I've always said, people, please look at the results before you listen mm -hmm. to these storytellers. No, that's great. Thank you, Thank you so much, Levi. We appreciate that. All right, uh, Levi calling in from, um, I believe he said Plant City. Uh, and so... Uh, definitely uh, causing, um, you know, a flood of text messages here. We got a call. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're coming up on an NPR break in about five minutes, but let's get to this caller here real quick. Good morning, caller. What is your name and where are you calling us from? Breaking the rules. Breaking the rules. Uh -oh. Let me say this real quick and I'm going to get out of the way because NPR is coming up. Um, if you were breaking into my house, uh, there, there, there are ways that you can enter. Um, you ring the doorbell and if I recognize you and and I believe I'm safe enough, I will let you come in. If you break in my window, I'm going to blow your brains out. Have a nice day. You don't have any right to be in here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. This is independent investigation. Call the cops. Call the cops. You need to leave right now. You need to leave right now. This guy threatened me. Hey!